So a couple of years ago, I decided I was done setting New Year's resolutions. I got tired of being all gung-ho in January, and by the middle of the year, it's like I never set the resolution in the first place. This was until a couple of weeks ago when I heard a teaching about how even if we only stay dedicated to a New Year's resolution for one week, it's a good thing because it brings some hope. Hearing that made me decide to give a resolution another chance. After all, I do have some goals that I wanna accomplish and I could definitely use all the hope I can get. But I don't like to do anything senseless, so I came up with some ideas, even more suggestions that I'm definitely gonna use and I want to share with you. My hope is that when we get to December 31st, we'll be able to look at all the goals we made on January 1st and mark them off as done. One. So the first thing is to have true meaning and reason for your resolutions. I think I was watching Shark Tank the other day and I heard one of the sharks say that to succeed at something, you have to have a reason for accomplishing that thing that is bigger than you. Like there has to be true depth to why you're going for that thing. So as you write out your resolution, stop and take some time to reflect and think about why that thing is important to you. Because truth be told, what it, when something means something to you, that's typically when you don't give up on it. That's typically when you stay the course at seeing it through because it becomes personal. So make your New Year's resolutions personal. Two. The next thing is to have an accountability partner. Having somebody to hold you accountable is a sure way to make sure you stay the course. And this can be a spouse, a significant other, a friend, a family member, a work colleague, just somebody to keep you encouraged, to listen to you when you need a listening ear. Of course, their job is not to put the pressure on you, but just to kind of be your support team, to be team you and cheering you on toward your goal and making sure that somebody's checking in with you to make sure that you see it through. Three. Lastly, don't be your own worst critic in this. It's a good thing that you even came up with the resolution. So take things a day at a time, celebrate your accomplishments along the way. And hey, if you fall off the bandwagon, instead of spending that time beating yourself up, get back up and pick up where you left off. I hope these tips will help you. I'm definitely gonna be putting them into effect. If you need some support, if you have any ideas, any questions, you wanna check on me and see how I'm doing, hold me accountable, I'll appreciate it. Make sure that you leave me some comments on my blog, doseofinspiration.org. This has been your daily dose of inspiration. Here's to a prosperous new year and let's make every day count. I'll see you next time.